No, I can't see that. Let's see. Hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Hi. That's Sam. Sam's yeah, standing next to I me. I know. Yeah, I'm just going to text. Um, I have no idea how I, he got into this. I don't know. What he's... There's just a link. Yeah, I'm sure. You didn't need to click. Is anybody on. else joining? Yeah, that's what I'm waiting. Um, what is this? I have things to do. <laughs> is Elder Will joining? <laughs> what? <sighs> How are you? I don't know. There's a lot going on, but I'm basically okay. No, yeah. just there's a lot going on. I feel that. I just found out that the one program that I was planning on applying to that's an online LPC program, um, they're like, they filled up all of their spots for the fall. Oh. So. What's I, LPC? I sent an email and asked if I could um, start in the spring. You could be waitlisted. Yeah, what did you say, what is the LPC? Oh, was that the licensed, like? Licensed professional know. counselor. And then there's oh. also um, the licensed clinical social worker. Hmm. Oh boy, Emma. Yeah. Eat some pineapple. Eat, I don't know. You gotta unmute yourself. I can't do it. Am I supposed to be in some like quiet place or what? Uh, noisy uh, as possible. I mean, yeah, a quiet place is ideal, but. <laughs> go for the challenge. <laughs> It's kind of cold outside. Otherwise, I'd say go go sit outside. But it's sunny. No, it's chilly. The air's cool. I know. I know. But the sun is so shiny. Exactly. It's been so dreary and stuff. Okay. I like. I created this thing, and hey. for some reason, it's like I must have made it to have like a waiting room or something before, and I have to like accept. No, people. no, no. That's Zoom. Zoom is doing that standard. I think. Am I supposed to oh, get on a, like a yoga mat or something? Am I, what do I sit on? You can Does sit on whatever makes you comfortable. Huh. You can sit in a chair. You can sit on a yoga mat, sit on a pillow, sit on the couch. I can, you can, I can sit down. on your bed because you're not home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could I could. Do. It's nice and dark in there. Is that yeah, mama? It's quiet. Yeah, okay. it is. I don't want to. I look horrible. So I'm. I'm video less or whatever, picture less. That's okay. I just I hear my voice. I'm <laughs> in like my jeans, though. It's uh. fine. Hi, Abby. Hey, how are you? I'm good. That's just good chilling you. today. I still have like um, finals for another couple of classes to get done. So today, We're trying to yeah. put that all. We all oh, do. God, no, they, mom, they are aren't. You're so they're not due until Friday and Saturday. Uh, today. Oh, wait a minute. All right. I'm fine. Today's Friday. I'm sorry. Today's, today, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, yeah. I have two papers, a final, and a PowerPoint to do by Sunday. Oh boy, that's good. Well, that you're extending it though. Uh, just by a lot of, I, like the bulk of my work. For Westchester was due last night yesterday. Yeah. So like all of my classes at Westchester, I'm done with. I just have to finish the ones at Delaware County. Mm. Go go. Are you in Ghani's? Are you any? Are you in Ghani's classes? Mm mm. Not no, right I now. Yeah, I heard he's he's just he just gives them a ton of work right there at the end. Really? Really? What does he yeah. teach? Astronomy. Sensing and astronomy. Oh, astronomy. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, like, whenever I hear his name, I think of, like, Kanye. Like, Kanye. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I think of the hockey player, Mark Kanye. That's uh, about it. But he's no, he's no I hockey player. I don't player. know sports players, so that's why I don't associate <laughs> the name. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Well, um, I don't get started. You myself now? Yeah, you mute yourself, because I don't think I can mute you, and I'll mute all of you. So that means you should be you silent. So mom, you can't talk anymore. So Wait a minute. Mute, no. Mute us all. Wait a minute. How do right. I turn on the TARDIS lights? Oh, you well. have to plug them in to the, um, to the outlet. Oh. my desk. Forget it. Forget it. I'm, I'm okay. good. Never mind. I'm fine. Just turn the, the fairy lights on with the light switch. All right. I'll do that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, guys. So let's start out by getting into a comfortable seat. So however that looks to you, um, be sitting on a pillow. Um, if you're sitting on a pillow, unless it's thick, you can fold it over halfway. Um, you can also use like a meditation cushion if you have one of those, those work really well. You can sit in a chair that has a, um, a back to it that will remind you to stay uplifted in your position. You can also lie down in this meditation if that's helpful for you. Or you can stand up. Um, really just do whatever's best for your body in this present moment. And if you're sitting on the ground on a pillow or a cushion or a yoga mat, I just recommend that you prop your body up against or at least slightly up against a wall or something straight behind you just so that you have a reminder in case um, your body starts leaning forward or leaning backward just to remind you to stay uplifted. Because in this meditation, at least if you're sitting up, you're gonna to want to try to keep your spine in a neutral position. So pretty much in a straight spot, aligned vertically, your head above your pelvis. So your head, your spine, and your pelvis are in one line vertically. So just coming into your seat, I'm gonna start the bell and then we're gonna get started. So start to come into your body and feel how you're feeling in this present moment. Feel your sits bones on a chair or pillow or bed. Just wherever you are, feel your bottom against a surface or not against a surface. And take in how that feels. And then slowly start to scan your body and see if you're having any tension in an area. And if you identify any tension, maybe you can try to ease out of it. If you're in a seated position, in an upright seated position, um, obviously we're gonna want to use some effort to keep our chest lifted, so not letting that go, um, but letting go anything else that's really unnecessary in this moment. Maybe that's in your feet, maybe they're clenching a little bit, or in your hands. Maybe it's in your face. Maybe you can relax your jaw down. 
Relax through the eyes. Maybe your eyes are pulled a little bit tight. Try to soften that out. Maybe it's in the forehead. Just wherever you feel the tension, take notice and try to ease it and try to let it go. So now begin coming into your breath, paying attention to the inhale, and the pause, and the exhale, and a pause. Then another inhale with a pause, and an exhale, another pause. Just paying attention to your breath, Acknowledging it, noticing it, but trying not to necessarily think about it. Just noticing how the breath is in the body in this present moment. There's no need to try to change it. That's not the point here. The point is just to see it for how it is and accept it. So as I've said in my past meditations, um, Right now, our anchor point is the breath. So for an anchor point, it's really just a point of our attention that we draw our attention to, basically. It's just what we're meditating on. So right now, we're meditating on the breath. So every time that your thoughts start to wander in a different direction, just gently shift your attention back to the breath. Breathing in through the nose, pausing, breathing out through the nose, pausing. Being with the breath in this present moment, not judging it in any way. Now, besides following the pattern of the breath, let's start to see how the breath feels in our body. Taking into account the temperature of the air as you breathe in through your nose, then the temperature as you breathe out through your nose. Is the temperature cold or cool? Maybe it's neutral and you can't really tell. Maybe it's warm. Do you feel any sensations in the breathing? Maybe through your nose. Maybe tingling or a tickle sensation. Or maybe nothing at all. And just a gentle reminder to remember to keep your chest uplifted here. Just make sure that we're staying active. It's 
sometimes when we let our posture go, we can start to kind of zone out and maybe even fall asleep. And that's perfectly okay. You just have to be mindful of it. So shifting our attention from the breathing, we're currently focusing on the nose there the temperature and the sensations. Now we're gonna divert our attention to our chest. How does the breath feel in the chest? Does the chest expand as you breathe in and retract as you breathe out? Maybe it's not only your chest, but also your upper back and your shoulders a little bit. So just feel those sensations in your chest, in your upper back. And just breathe. And any time your mind starts to wander to another place, just shift it gently back to your chest, into breathing and paying attention to your chest. And I invite you to bring one of your hands to your heart and just feel your heart beating here. working hard to pump blood through the body. It's delivering oxygen to our cells and our organs. And just take a moment of gratitude to thank yourself for your heart and all its hard work. So often we go through our days and we don't really acknowledge the things that are keeping us alive until we lose them or there's issues with them. So just thank your heart for doing its work. For keeping you healthy. supplying love and kindness that you're able to offer others. And then you can either continue meditating on the heart or the chest, just remembering when your thoughts go to another place to gently shift them back to your chest or to your heart. Or now you can follow me in a little loving kindness meditation, just a little side note from what we've been doing. So keeping your hand over your heart, if it already was, just take a moment to honor yourself. Like I was saying, being grateful for your health, your happiness, love for others and yourself, and your well being. So just think about that for a few moments.
And when you're ready, start to bring that loving kindness out from your heart to another person. It could be a friend or a family member. It could be a pet. And it could even be someone that you don't know. Maybe someone from one of your classes. And you can take this loving kindness and you can apply it to one person or several people. You could apply it to a whole community or to the entire world. So pick who you'd like to send loving kindness out to in the present moment. And once you've selected someone, just repeat in your mind's eye the words I'm about to say. I wish you good health and fortune, well-being, love, and kindness to you. Just ponder that statement for a moment. And then start to visualize a letter with those words being written on it, just in your mind. And then think about that letter being placed into an envelope and then sealed shut, maybe by licking or using a sticker. And then think about placing that letter by your heart. And then imagine that letter being folded up like a paper airplane. And then think about holding that letter that now looks like a paper airplane in your hands. And then when you're ready, send it off to wherever you want it to go. Maybe it's one destination. Maybe there's several destinations, so you're sending out multiple letters. Whatever it is, just visualize it. If you can, of course. And when you're ready, once you've stopped sending out your letters, we're gonna return back to the chest, to the upper back, the shoulders. Just feel the breath here. Next, we're going to send our attention down to our stomach, to our bellies. And really, our stomachs are pretty extraordinary. You might have heard of a gut feeling before, or that you have butterflies in your stomach. And that's known as your stomach's intuition. 
people used to think it was nonsense that our stomachs can feel, um, but it's not. Your stomach can actually process emotions and communicate with your mind. So gut feelings are real. So start focusing on your stomach. Feeling expand as you breathe in. And retract as you breathe out. Feeling the belly rise. And the belly fall. And if you're not feeling the belly rise and fall, then I invite you to try to deepen your breath a little more and really try to get the air to go down to your diaphragm by breathing in and expanding the stomach out and exhaling, bringing the stomach back in. If you've never done diaphragmatic breathing before, then this may be a bit tricky, but it really just all takes time. Everything takes time to master most of the time. So starting to sense any sensations, body feelings in this abdominal area. Maybe not really feeling much sensation at all. And continue to focus on your breathing in your stomach. Anytime that your attention starts to go to another place, just shift it back to your stomach, to your belly. And it's completely normal for our minds to start wandering in different directions. That's just how they work. There's lots of neural pathways that have been created and our brains are just used to going down them. So they tend to. So when you're ready, we're gonna to start to expand our awareness a little bit. And we're going to bring our awareness to our brain, to the thoughts that we're having. And just observing them, not trying to change them, seeing where they take us. Maybe they take you somewhere helpful. Maybe they take you more so down a rabbit's hole. Maybe it's not a thought that you really wanna be thinking about. And if it's a thought that you'd rather not deal with right now, just imagine putting that thought onto a shelf, just putting it into a jar, like a mason jar, just can it, put it on the shelf and save it for another time. And just come back to the breath and then maybe another thought will pop up and you can follow that. So 
So continuing to focus on the thoughts. Maybe they're thoughts of your to-do lists for later. Or just some really random things that come up in your brain. We all have those moments. Maybe they're about what you wanna do this weekend. Maybe they're really about nothing relevant at all. So whatever your thoughts are, just see them for what they are and observe them. And if you ever have a thought in meditation that's really important and you really can't get it off of your mind and it's gonna bug you, just go ahead and write it down. Some meditation teachers would argue that you shouldn't do that, that you should just stay in your body and let your body work through that. But there's no point in working against what your body's naturally supposed to do. like that with readjusting your posture and maybe getting up to use the bathroom if you have to. Listen to your body first and foremost. Next, we're going to jump from observing our thoughts to observing the sound. So the sounds could be anything that's surrounding you externally. Could be people in your house talking, maybe the birds outside chirping, maybe you hear cars driving by. Just whatever it is, acknowledge it and label it as a sound. It's just a sound, nothing else. Besides the external sounds, we also have internal sounds. Our breathing is internal. We're creating it from the inside into the out. The noises that our stomach makes, that's an internal noise. And you could even think of your thoughts as being an internal noise if they're really, really loud and pulling your attention. So whatever the sound is that you are observing, just hear it as sound. There's no need to label it and give it a name. You don't need to do that. And with sound, we're really trying to pay attention to things that we don't really notice typically. You know, the murmur of the heating system or cooling system or pipes in the, in the wall. Sorry about that. I had the sound on so that the bell would go off, but 
I also had my phone on do not disturb, so I don't know why it was happening, but sorry. So just be with the breath and the sound. Anytime your mind starts to wander a lot, just try to bring it back and notice the sounds around you and the sound that you're creating with your breath. Maybe with your stomach if you're digesting food or you're hungry. And we're gonna shift our attention back to the breath and our body. Breathing in through the nose, pausing. Just breathing out through the nose, pausing again. Breathing in through the nose, pausing. Breathing out through the nose, pausing again. Just breathing here in this present moment. Feeling any sensations in the breath. And then begin to bring awareness back into your body. back into the seat that you're currently sitting on. Or maybe you're lying down on your bed. Or maybe you're standing up and practicing this meditation. So wherever you are, just acknowledge that. And feel how your body is feeling. And then to start to wake up the body, we're gonna start wiggling gently through the feet, through the fingertips. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And let it go. And when the bell sounds, it's going to end our meditation for the day. When that happens, just begin to come back to your surroundings. Gently flutter open your eyes. And as I said, come back into your surroundings and observe the room. Maybe put your glasses on if you had them off so that you can now see. Maybe you notice something in the room that you hadn't noticed before. Or maybe you're not in a room, maybe you're outside. Just notice something different. And then we're gonna do some mini cat cow exercises just to warm up the body a little bit. So on an inhale, we're gonna shine the chest forward, inhale, gaze up. And exhale, we're going to round through the spine, bringing the chin to our chest. Inhale, chest draws forward, gaze up. And exhaling, we're gonna round through the spine, bringing the chin to the chest. And last one, we're gonna breathe in, gaze up, chest forward. And exhale, rounding in the spine, chin to chest. All right, everyone. Whenever you're ready, you can turn your mics on.
And are those electric candles? Everyone. Are those electric candles? They are electric candles, yeah. Okay, <laughs> they work very well. You can barely, I mean, you probably can't really tell. No, I mean, certainly not through the laptop. Yeah, exactly. Your hand, your hand was awfully close to them. <laughs> yeah. When I take my glasses off, I can't really tell right. from a distance. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Did, what, did I lose you, Emma? I don't think that so. That was weird. We got you. <laughs> Maybe. Did you like lose my video or something? Yeah, you were just a blob. Now oh, you're back. Okay. It's just, that's normal. It's just how the internet works, especially now. <laughs> yeah, now that every, everything's done on the internet. Yeah, I know. <sighs> yeah. Well, how yeah, I really, now that I, I know really what, what I'm in, I got to get my act together for the rest of the day. But that was very nice. I'm good. Yeah. I was sort of doing chair exercises in the middle of your meditation. I don't think that was exactly proper. You know, neck rolls. You're supposed to do like neck oh. rolls and shoulder rolls and hearing all the creaks in my spine. Oh. <laughs> kind of weird. Not improper. You're supposed to I do am out of shape. what your body That's needs. That's what I concluded. This whole thing makes me conclude that I'm out of shape. So then I need to stretch more. Me. I think I need to do daily stretches or something. Absolutely. So you need to do daily yoga with me. Yep. Yeah. yeah. But thank you. Yeah, and okay. thank you for everybody participating. It was nice fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thanks everyone for, for practicing today. I know it's finals week, so it's like not always the best timing, but I think this I is probably this. the best turning... time to meditate when you're stressed like this. No, it's the best time to meditate. I mean, that, my, my brain was turning the mush, man. I couldn't even think straight this morning. Uh oh. Yeah. That's just like I just discovered. I don't know. Do you guys have Spotify? No. Not <laughs> premium. Oh, okay. I have Spotify Premium and they have like podcasts on there. And I discovered um there's this thing called the Daily Shine. They do podcasts every day and it's just like a morning little mini morning meditation that pops up every day. It's different. Oh. And then they also have an app on the phone, but I don't know. You might need to pay for the app. So That's I don't know. Cool. I wonder if I can find out if you like get it for free or something. But yeah, I discovered it because there's this um one play like podcast playlist that was recommended to me called Mind Massage, and they have like a bunch of different things about like stress and there was one that was talking about self care, like how important that is. Obviously. Hopefully you guys know that's important, but just making sure you have a bounce between school and like life and what you love doing. Is that all text that uh, that Spotify? Um, no. What do you mean, like? Um, I mean that that, that particular uh, podcast. Is it all just text, or are there is there sound? It's, is there it's audio. Video? Audio. Okay. Yeah, I don't think there's text. I mean, prop. Maybe if you looked up like that episode online maybe you could find the transcript but i'm i'm not no, sure no. i mean i was just looking at your phone and it looked like it was all just text but i couldn't tell what, what i was looking at oh yeah it was just um they have different podcasts and you would click the on that and just the like links the title podcast, and like so. a little blurb right yeah. okay. nice yeah cool yeah. I like can i recommend podcasts. harp music in the background next time harp music? <laughs> do we have some harp music <laughs> I I have my own music playing while this goes on. Yeah, I would say you guys should play your own music because I feel like it doesn't sound good coming through my speaker. And also, oh right, right. Remember, I took the yoga class and they were playing music in the background, and then it blew my speaker out. So okay, yeah, probably not the best idea. Just trying to do right. that for everyone. <laughs> yeah, because when I play my music, you guys can't hear it. No. As long as, as, long as I play it through the laptop, you guys can't hear it. So. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And I Native American flute music is what uh, is what I listen All to. All right, that's good. Not, to not harsh. Not like harsh, but it's out. pretty close. <laughs> yeah. Just like some very peaceful. Yeah. Soothing, soothing kind of stuff. Yeah, nothing too distracting or you know. Yeah, mom. Right. You always use like the um the speaker. 
Although right. if you connect the phone to the speaker, you might hear me over the speaker if you're doing the Zoom on your phone. Right. Yeah, that's the only thing. You'd have to use two separate devices and connect it. All right, well, I'm gonna sign off now. Okay. I'm getting a little hungry. All this meditating made me hungry. Yeah. <laughs> me too. Yeah, I know. All right. Well, have a good and productive day, people. Bye bye. So. Thanks. Bye bye. Thank you. What do you got left to do, uh, Emma? Um, I have two tests and an essay and a discussion post <laughs> and a bunch of reading. But a bunch of reading. I get it done. A bunch of reading for what? I have to read a chapter for my psych class, like and of the textbook. Learn it. And then take I mean, is it going to be on the test? Do you have to write a paper about it, or no? I just have to take the test on the material. It's not too bad for psych. Yeah, I think it's for about this. like ethics or something like that. Ethics within like psych practices. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it shouldn't be yeah. too bad. So basically, study for your test is what you got to do. <laughs> basically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's not too Abby, bad thanks. though, because it's Abby, open. Thanks though. for your help with that so. uh, with that paper. I appreciate that. Oh, I hope you enjoy what I wrote there. No, it was all very good. Um, that uh, Haresh Gupta is—that's the guy's name. I just copied and pasted oh. his first and last name for some reason. Uh, I think you just need Gupta. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I, once you once you pointed it out, I mean, I looked over it like you know, five times, but that's what I'm saying. My brain's turning to mush. I keep saying it. Like when I read that paragraph that you corrected, yours reads way better than what I wrote. Uh, but every time I read over that, I knew there was something wrong with it, but I couldn't figure out what it was. Verbs. Yeah. Paragraphs, paragraphs need verbs. Yeah, I think you forgot a couple of verbs in there, but you know, sometimes <laughs> you just need somebody else to read what you wrote and then I you're good. It, I sent it to Jordan, but he's never responded. You know? mm. Sometimes also reading things out loud. Like not even just like reading it over in your head, but like if something doesn't sound right, like read it out loud. Right. And then sometimes you your mind will then like, it out loud. Still, like, okay, that doesn't sound right. So yeah. I need to If you can't that. read it out loud, it's probably something wrong with it. Right? Yeah, exactly. Do you think it needs uh, some actual chemistry in there? I think that you did some interesting stuff. I wasn't sure about the reactions that you included, um, yeah. but at the same time, I didn't read all your sources. Um, so I mostly just checked and again, without looking at those reactions or without examining the data tables too closely, everything else in the paper flows well and makes sense. Like the organization is good and I understood what you got out of it. Right. So, you know, it makes I, sense to me. Right, cool. I set it up. I set it up beforehand and sought out the information with that in mind. So I already had the beginning and the end done, which is not typical when you're doing a paper. All right. Mm -hmm. I knew the, I told you that I told you the punchline when you said, we asked me what the subject was, you know what I mean? Yeah. That it does not have a significant effect on CO2, you know, yeah. but uh, yeah. So yeah, that, that, that's what I was trying to get. It's a good paper, but I don't know if it has the chemistry aspect of it. Is that for geochem? Yeah. Did you do, did you take geochem now? Yeah. How did you do? Good, I got an A. How'd you do, how was your, how only, was your- Only because Robert was in the class. <laughs> oh, so you took that last <laughs> one with Robert. Yeah. All right. Oh, were you guys in the same class together? You, Robert, and- No, Abby? I took I it at the same time as Field. So I took it the semester before they did. Oh, right. Um, like one year ago. And so I, you know, my paper was actually a group paper where we did our own experiment and yeah. you know analyze that That's but I think you guys are doing it this way just because you're at home right we have no we have no research to do that that's that's the, that's the thing about it's not a research paper it's just like a, a, a critique of somebody else's research you know it's like a report yeah it's like a report like a book report yeah yeah just like for paleo we had a final paper to do and we were supposed to go to the dnc canal yeah and exactly. collect our own stuff and then analyze them and write a paper and instead we just he was like here's some pictures of what you might have found if you want yeah write about them 
Yeah, so I mean, yeah, so we didn't we didn't go either because they forgot to cut the grass or something. The the Army Corps of Engineers didn't cut the they burn they don't they burn the 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 weeds back or something like that. But they didn't do it. So we curated uh, samples that were taken the previous whatever year or semester or something. I don't know. Um, you guys didn't even do that. You just looked at pictures. Yeah, yeah. I mean that's it was a little that's hard definitely to not go. good. <laughs> But yeah, everything so. turned out. All our grades for that class are in. So it's nice because that's like, right now, that's my only class where I have a pretty good idea where, oh, I have a very good idea where I stand with it. Everything right. else is like, could Every go anyway. Everything's yeah. graded. That's good. Mm -hmm. I know some of the teachers at Westchester do not update the grades until like Buzz. the end after. <laughs> Well, the very last day he has to put them in is the day he puts them all in. You know? mm -hmm. You would think uh, that would be stressful for them. Like just a whole day of entering grades. I'd be so bored. I feel like you should do that like over a span of time, not all at once. He doesn't even touch the I I don't have I don't think I had a single grade in what was yeah, pet petrology. Not not a single grade was done except for the ones that we did on D2L, the ones that great get graded automatically. Yeah. Everything that he was supposed to grade. He hand graded he had not graded that's crazy and today he started he started last night apparently they were they're pushing him to get grades in he said Who's he yeah. looked over one of my labs and said i forgot to submit something so i submitted it last night yeah well that's, that's good which is that cool. they're doing I mean, that now because imagine he's telling you that on sunday and he needs to get the grades in or something like that he's got to get him in the, he's got to get them all in by the 10th they all the grades have to be submitted by the 10th yeah, that's in that Sunday. So that's, that's when he made our stuff do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that sucks. No. Wait a minute. All our stuff's due on the Yeah. On Sunday. Right. On Sunday. So, so, so he's, he's got a lot of work to do because you know I'm not gonna <laughs> hand it in Sunday morning, you know. Yeah, I was gonna say if they're allowing you until like midnight then. Now eleven thirty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll try and get it in as soon as I can, you know. Me too. So, um, yeah, so that was, that that paper was this, the thing that I had the most stress about, the chemistry one. Yeah. The if you guys don't stuff, mind, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign off. I need to use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right, also, cool. sorry that my phone was going off during it. I would like, I put the sound on, but I had it on do not disturb, so I didn't think that I'd get like like the dings when I got a text. Um, so now I know. I, I, I didn't know if it was yours or mine, actually, so. I, okay, that's good. I just yeah. felt bad because I was like, ah, I didn't want that to happen, but yeah. yeah. All right, anyways, I will see you next week. Do we get kicked off when you sign off? Um, actually, now that I think about it, yes. Okay. That's okay. Um, I guess you and Abby could like start a Zoom chat no, individually no. if you need to. We have, we have uh, thumbs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. True. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, cool. All right, thanks have again. a good day, everyone, and good luck you on too. the rest of your finals. You too. Yep, yep. You too. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.